So what is up you guys? It's your girl Nation G, also known as Glam ST. And if you're new here, welcome to the family, y'all. I am here fresh faced with a new dude, so you know what we doing. It's a hair video. I was gonna switch it up and like, oh, let me be my face for the beginning of the video, but you know, we're gonna keep the routine going. Fresh face when it comes to new hair. This video is sponsored by Beauty Love and Youth Hair or Bly Hair on Amazon. They sponsored this video and sent me this wig. Thank you guys so so much. If you want to see how I got this look, you know, you want to see how I got the peanut butter chocolate swirl on, keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah. First things first, the wig is on my head. I'm just seeing where it's placed. And this is a 4x4 closure wig. I do not know the length. It's not that long, though. It's like bra strap length. And I did end up chopping it into a bob, just not in this video. So I'm taking the wig off. And now I'm just, it's back on my head. <laughs> but now I want to show you guys how I cut the lace. I typically don't have to cut my own lace. But because this wig came pre-plucked and everything i had to cut it so i'm just showing you guys exactly what i'm doing and yes i'm using these big old scissors i do go in with the razor blade um as you guys will see y'all will see y'all see so i'm cutting off each tab in the corner those little extra like thicker pieces before i go in and cut the full piece of lace off Oh, and if y'all see me looking to the side, that's where my mirror was. I was not trusting myself to use the camera to cut and do this wig. <laughs> so there's the razor. Now I'm going in and cutting like jagged, uh, jaggedly, jagged edges. I don't know. Hold on. I'm doing like crisscross applesauce. I don't even know if I'm saying this properly. I'm just going in, not in a straight line, to make sure that the wig looks as natural as possible. Then it's back off my head and I'm going to take my bronzer by Morphe and just go over the lace to make it as brown as possible to match my skin tone. If you watch any of my hair videos, you've seen this part before. Nothing in this video is going to be really new. Um, again, lace, lace closure wigs are my thing. I have not graduated to front tools and I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. But yeah, this is just how, again, I, how I get my wigs to lay right. Y'all know I say I'm running out here, girl, but I don't know. The lace is kind of giving, but I'm not going, I'm not going to call myself a hair guru just yet. As you can see, I just mashed it against my hand and I'm going back in with the powder again. I use as much powder as I need to. I don't really like foundation because it takes way too long to clean. So yeah, this is just what I do. And now I'm popping the wig back on my head to see exactly what it's giving. Okay, it's literally giving scalp. Ooh, okay. Now I'm just going in again to uh, measure where exactly I want the lace to be. And I'm checking the corners to make sure they're going to lay properly. Once I'm satisfied, I'm hype. I'm real hype. <laughs> again, y'all will see me do this a thousand times. I'm going in to clean my forehead with some alcohol before I get ready to lay my wig. Now I'm going in with the Wonder Lace Bond by Ibn. This is my first time really using it. And I will say this, I'm not a huge fan. It gives like a really funny, I don't know, tacky feel to your face versus like my regular olive oil hairspray. So you might not see this on my channel again. It does hold your wig in place though. I will say that, but it's just not my favorite. You know, with me, you get a day and a night. 
you get a day and a night after day and a night baby i'm ready to take the wig off my head so if you want a super super uh hold spray this may be better for you but i must just probably switch back to my olive oil hairspray As you can see, it's dripping down my face and I'm like trying to wipe it away because it was like a lot. <laughs> and I'm using the back of my edge brush just to push it down and not my finger because that way it will not leave any like white residue. Once I'm satisfied with that, I'm going back in with this alcohol just to get some of that extra off my forehead because I noticed it was a lot and I didn't want a whole bunch of film on my forehead. And then I have my trusty handy dandy uh, what is it, elastic band to go around the front of my lace to just melt it in some. <laughs> Fail. Once that's on, I'm leaving it on for about two to three minutes simply because I do not like the indent in my forehead. So I'm popping it back off. And boom, look at that. Ooh, she look like scalp a little bit. Ah! If anybody in the comments is gonna be like, oh, look at the side of the leaf. Baby support by foreclosure. Beggars can't be choosers, okay? Like you're gonna get what you get and you're not gonna complain. Um, but yeah, I fixed it at the end. I'm grabbing my good old olive oil spray and I'm just spraying myself in the face. <laughs> I'm spraying it along the lines of the hairline again because I noticed that the bow hole wasn't doing what I needed to do. So I'm getting, I'm going over those corners because they weren't as melted as I wanted them to be. And again, not a hair girl, just a girl who learns how to apply her wigs the best of her ability and keen. And if you're a beginner like me and you don't want to pay $300 for an install, this the video for you. But if I do this myself, that looks pretty good. That looks like scalp to me. If you are examining and zooming in, you're the problem. <laughs> you're the problem. Get a life. Y'all seen that close up. Don't play with me. Now I'm dancing, okay? Because I'm excited. She's looking good. She's looking good, girl. Now I'm just plugging up my hot comb. And making sure it gets nice and hot. Because we're going to go in and out style and lay. And while that's happening, I'm just kindly on my phone. So as I done took some pictures and being silly on my close friends, I am going in with my Nairobi um, wrap foam. I'm sorry, it's the Ebon wrap foam. I got Ebon this time. It does the same thing. And I'm just going in the front of the hairline to give it like that hair scalp effect that the girls love, that I love. I'm going on both sides with the back of my edge brush. It's a little comb on this side. Then I'm going in with my hot comb. Making sure I don't burn myself. And again, you can see the little film on my forehead. Again, why I won't be using the Ibn lace hold again often. I really don't care for it, but it did the job today. I'm laying that uh, closure good, making sure she is all nice and blended. Look at that color, guys. Like, 
This color is so pretty this week. It's so freaking pretty. And again, right here, I was thinking about baby hairs, and I'm like, no, this is only a four by four, so we're not doing any baby hairs. And I'm just looking at the hair because she's looking good. She's nice and flat. She's looking real blended, you know. Hmm. It's giving very much scalp. <laughs> and now I am pulling out my Beach Waver. This is uh, the 1.25 barrel. And Beach Waver is just a bomb curling iron. I will drop my code down below. It's heating up and we're gonna get to curling and styling my hair i'm not gonna talk through much of this part but you can clearly see this is a bomb curling iron once it starts it's self curling you just press a button and again i'll drop a code down below And boom, she's curled. She's cute. It's giving peanut butter chocolate swirl when the girls get into her. She's nice and flat. She looks very natural. I love the no baby hair look on this wig. I think it came out so freaking pretty. Thank you again, Bly Hair or Beauty Love Youth Hair for sponsoring this video. It is so, so, so appreciated. Shout out to them. Make sure you go shop. I will have links down below for this specific unit and their page on Amazon. I love you guys so, so, so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah!